All right, so a while back, I put out a video going over 10 monster taming games that are currently out in a complete state. This excluded games that were in early access, alpha, beta, or otherwise. At the end of that video, I asked you guys if you wanted to see a part two, and a ton of people said yes, so here we are. I do think these list videos are very important because it provides an excellent resource for games that are fully out. Anyways, all that said, obviously there won't be any repeats from the last complete monster taming game video. That wouldn't really make a lot of sense. So definitely make sure to check it out when you're done here. And with all that said, it's time to look into 10 more monster taming games that are fully complete that you can pick up right now. All right, so a game that literally just exited early access on Steam is Ento Drive, a turn-based monster taming RPG that takes place from a 2.5D perspective. The game basically is a virus tamer where you play as sort of an unknown developer behind an augmented reality game called Ento Drive. When these creatures from the game start acting strangely, your business partner who is the actual face of the game but pretty clueless when it comes to the development side of things, calls upon you to solve the issue. You must then travel across Cache Island in order to subdue the viruses that suddenly are popping up in the real world. The game of course features turn-based combat and as mentioned has a fun expansive 2.5D world to explore. A classic monster taming game that I'm sure many of you have heard of is Monster Rancher that has had a recent bundle release on Nintendo Switch. Steam and iOS, that being Monster Rancher 1 and 2 DX. Monster Rancher, if you're unfamiliar, is a game where you raise monsters by increasing their stats and getting them ready to compete in tournaments, which take place in real time. The game also features a crossbreeding system, allowing for unique combinations, and of course, a disc system, which has been modernized in order to work on systems that can't take discs, allowing you to create tons of different monsters from various music tracks and CDs that exist within a database. It's definitely considered a classic for a reason, especially for the time in which it came out. Now I am almost positive that the vast majority of my audience has already heard of Monster Crown, but it's also complete. The game did just release on PS4 and Xbox One not too long ago, plus I've covered it quite extensively, being a game whose aesthetic and monster design I quite enjoy. For those new to the channel or those that don't know what Monster Crown is, it's a pixel art RPG set on Crown Island, a place where human and monsters form packs for survival. I said this in the past, but I'll reiterate, this isn't your typical Power of Friendship-esque monster taming title. The world is far more bleak and the monsters mostly look out for their own benefit, essentially using the tamers as a means to make themselves stronger. In this world, you'll be going up against those who would see you dead given the opportunity. The game provides a semi-open world to explore mid-battle transformations and of course a fusion and crossbreeding mechanic allowing for well over a thousand monster possibilities. The game has received some critique regarding bugs but the dev has been squashing them accordingly and if you can get past those it's definitely a fun title. Now, pretty much on the complete opposite side of the spectrum, we have Rainbow Billy and the Curse of the Leviathan, a very bubbly and I quote, wholesome 2.5D infused monster taming platform. I'm gonna read a passage from the Steam page so you guys can get a better idea of what the game entails thematically. Rainbow Billy tells a universal coming of age story about dealing with changes in the world and accepting ourselves and the others around us. Sometimes it only takes a conversation, empathy, and a new point of view to make a world of difference. The goal of the player is to restore color to the world by teaming up with their monster allies. In the last video we mentioned Shin Megami Tensei 5, however I will have you know if you didn't already that Shin Megami Tensei 3 is also available on modern platforms and it is an HD remaster. While I personally don't think SMT 3 is as good as SMT 5, it still has everything you'd expect from an SMT title. You have your typical apocalyptic Tokyo setting much like SMT 5, you have your human demon hybrid thing, this time dubbed the Demi Fiend, you have your monster fusion and your morally ambiguous decision making power. If you've played SMT5 but not SMT3, it will not take you very long to get into this game. There are of course some differences like physical attacks taking away HP instead of stamina. There aren't overworld encounters, it's all random encounters, but nevertheless it's a title I recommend checking out. Next up, I got one for you mobile gamers out there. I mean, some of the other games mentioned have mobile ports, but Bot World Adventure is a game specifically made for mobile, and me being someone who isn't usually a fan of mobile games due to the aggressive monetization strategies and whatnot, I was actually very pleasantly surprised when I picked up this game. This is a robot taming and battling open world RPG with simple yet fun three-on-three -three combat where you must strategically place your different bots on the field and 
while they do their thing, you can utilize various weapons in order to thwart your foes. The bots come in various different utility types, including but not limited to tanks, supporters, zoners, etc., allowing for you to build your own custom team. Honestly, I'd love for them to come out with a console and PC port for this game. I think it'd be a ton of fun on those platforms as well. Another experience in a similar vein to a game like Shin Megami Tensei is The Lost Child, a title where you play as an occultist journalist investigating recent suicides in Japan. During your research, you encounter a strange woman who bestows upon you the power to capture and utilize celestial and arcane creatures in battle. In doing such, you must prepare yourself for the ensuing war between angels and demons. This game takes a lot of inspiration from old school DDS Megami Tensei in that you have your first person dungeon crawling elements alongside a combat system that is very similar. The game features over 100 different creatures, 250 spells, and over 99 levels to conquer with increasing difficulty. So, Serialum Ultimate recently released on Android and iOS, and much like Monster Crown, I'm sure you guys have probably heard of this title already. For those that haven't, the game follows you as a king of your own kingdom as you're approached by a strange deity in the night. You're warned that trouble is coming and thus you must travel to various realms, each of which contain mythical gods. The game plays in a somewhat similar vein to something like Dragon Warrior Monsters, in the sense that the castle will act as your hub world, with the realms existing as these randomly generated worlds littered with loot and monsters to fight. There are also different biomes for each, which will affect the monsters that can appear there. Combat is turn-based with the game featuring six on six battles with over a thousand different monsters to choose from and experiment with on your team. The game features tons of different spells you can equip to your monsters, artifacts which you can use to boost stats. Each monster has their own unique trait. You can even fuse them together to create a monster with more traits. On top of all this, there's also two dozen different classes which come with their own perks and a whole lot more. Whichever way you slice it, there's a ton that goes into a Serialum game and Serialum Ultimate's no exception to this. Originally released for PlayStation 3 but now available on modern consoles is Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch Remastered, a beautiful action JRPG with Studio Ghibli animation. In this game, you play as John Oliver and follow him on a quest to find his mother after a tragic misfortune. In this game, you adventure through the world and command your familiars in real-time combat against various foes that you'll come up against. You can travel by foot, sea, and even atop a dragon in order to fulfill your destiny. The developers promise a captivating story, a rich mixture of familiar RPG mechanics and dynamic combat. I have yet to play this game myself, but this one definitely looks really nice and I seriously got to get into it. Finally, last but not least, we have Ninth Dawn 3 Shadows of Aerithyll, a 2D open world action adventure title where you can capture all the enemy monsters in game and then utilize them as your ally. Honestly, the Steam page does an excellent job of briefly explaining what the game is, so I'm just gonna read it off for you guys real quick. This game is a huge 2D open world RPG and collect-a-thon dungeon crawler packed full of adventure. When asked to investigate mysterious ghostly sightings around the lake of Elmson, you trek through the lands of Sedaltia to uncover the truth. Upon arrival, you catch rumors of an untrustworthy king and become the chosen one to journey to Lorwick Castle and confront him. A journey that will guide you through ancient fortresses, dark dungeons, perilous swamps, and more. So yeah, a fun, challenging, medieval experience that you should definitely feel free to check out. And there you have it guys, another 10 monster taming games that you can play right now in full access. This is definitely going to become a series here on the channel because as time moves on, we're going to get more games that are in early access and beta and alpha and stuff like that become complete. So I think, like I said earlier, this is an excellent resource for monster taming fans that don't want to play an early access or beta or alpha game. I personally like playing games like that, but I know a lot of people don't. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel. I put out new monster taming videos every single day, so you'll never be starving for content. You can also check me out on Twitter and Discord and my Patreon, all links below. Special thanks to the patrons, especially Steel Case, Jim Hamilton, and Dark Persona. And with that, we'll see you guys next time. Peace.